What up, y'all? Welcome to another standard video here on YouTube. If you guys are new to the channel or you have enjoyed the content historically, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. They help me out a ton. Also, if you're looking for another way to support the channel, a great way is through manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service where you can get 20% off the first three months of any, any subscription with the link and the promo code rat train down below. So be sure to check them out as well. I was interested in building a Planeswalker deck, a Bant or Naya Planeswalker deck, but I'm leaning towards Naya because I like Sarkon as like a win condition. Are there any cards that are kind of like Oath of Nyssa? I wish this was Creature or Planeswalker. That would be great. Vivian Monsters Advocate is also great. The problem is, again, these are all very creature-centric Planeswalkers. And we're trying to focus on Planeswalkers. So, I think Fort Domery is correct because it gives... Uh, it, it ramps us from 3 to 5. Um, look at the top four cards and we reveal up to two creature cards again creature centric interesting I do like this Ajani a lot hmm this actually seems pretty decent It's a 4-4 when you need it, or it's a fight when you need it. Is the fight instant speed? Yes, that's pretty good. So the other five mana Planeswalker could be Nyssa, could be Vivian. I think Nyssa is just really good. Garrick Unleashed actually might be fine in this deck. I mean, maybe we do need a decent amount of creatures just for the Ajani. Hmm. Chandra Heart of Fire. This card's good. Uh, up to one target creature is plus two plus one first strike. Does one damage each of the two creatures. Okay, so this is probably like just one of the yeah, Vivian makes three threes, which is pretty... I mean, I love Vivian. Hmm. Is that much time to start an opponent or Planeswalker? Yeah, this card's also pretty solid. Put on counter. I mean, Vigilance. I, mean, I don't think we're playing any of these six mana guys. Let's be honest. And there are three of them here. <laughs> Gideon, Basri, and Ajani. Actually, hold on. There are actually uncommon planeswalkers too, and uncommon cards that interact with planeswalkers. I don't know if Basri is any good. We're just not attack. We're just not doing that. I think it's probably Gideon if we're going to play a three mana guy. It's also Teo. Don't really care about that too much. Prison Realm is just worse than Banishing Light at this point, except for the fact that it scries. I think I think one Ugin would probably be fine. I do like this Elspeth. Also, Elspeth with a Johnny seems pretty good. Make them two twos. Okay, 
So, Bramble Fork Fink. Bramble Fort Fink. 2 2 for 2. <laughs> 8 mana, he becomes a 10 10. But you have to control an Oko? Well, that's really weird. Jesus, for 8 mana, I feel like you don't need to control anything. I wish we had better three mana planeswalkers. I think it's like two Gideon. We're clearly playing a good amount of white. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. I don't think it's good. It's obviously from the planeswalker deck, so probably not great. Man, I wish there was a, I wish there was like a Nissa type card, Oath of Nissa, that would like let us play any color planeswalker. Deals damage equals power to target creature or planeswalker to control. That creature deals damage equals power to target creature. Yeah, this is the same card, right? It's just this is more flexible in casting cost. It's an instant, and it doesn't get the counter. Yeah, Interplanar Beacon's fine, but like... Oh, that's true. Interplanar Beacon is actually... Yeah, alright. That's actually not terrible. Tamios. I really like Bioessence Hydra. Um, What were we looking at? Sacred Foundry. Sacred Foundry, Temple... Yeah, Temple was a bad choice. Actually, we can just name. We can just put Temple Garden Temples in here. Um, uh, temple, what else? What else? Wait, it's only not, it was only in Theros, I guess. And... Okay. And now we need like Goose or the other one. Thank you. Oh, Badger with the eight gifted subs? So random, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, Dryad. Yeah, Dryad could be decent. It also lets us play two lands. Badger, man. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. There's reasons behind the eight subs. Thank Interesting. Because it puts you to 979, which is not... Thank you. <laughs> Setting up for something big. <laughs> Seven. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think Clarion is almost a necessity. At least in the sideboard. Um, okay, so this is more like a two drop. So we're gonna go Dryad into like a five drop, which is nice. A donation in another stream of 20 will point to 999. <laughs> Badger, I feel like you're really planning this out, like, very thoroughly. Oh, man. I appreciate you, buddy. Okay, so... What else is good? We're making planeswalkering. Is it like a Wall of Omens card? I don't think so, right? There's just 12 sources that come into play untapped on turn. And then when the time is just right. Dude, a thousand subs is fucking insane, dude. The amount of support you've contributed to me is unbelievable, man. And I... Oh God, it's unreal, dude. 
I appreciate you so much, man. It's wild. Guys, give me more suggestions. Lantern is legal, yeah. I just hate Lantern. Oh, let's let's put one Ugin in here, because we do have... Oh, there's also this Ugin, too. So as far as white sources, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and all of our white cards can be cast except for Elspeth Conquers Death. <laughs> Super Prince gifted a sub to I suggest we get some food. Clearly a real viewer. And not just a thing he uh, found on Twitch. I'm not sold on Thrash either. I, I, I can agree with you. Hmm. Like, the problem is we want to have one drops. I could see cutting one beacon for one planes for eight to 12. The problem is we only have 12 sources of, of green on turn one. Are there any good, like, defensive two drops that, like, keep us alive? Divine arrow, divine arrow, divine arrow. I'm about to go get ready to head out for dinner. Badger, I hope your dinner is delicious. What are you having, buddy? Where are you going? Man, it must be nice to head out to dinner. Subs, I bet. TGI Fridays? You guys have TGI Fridays in free in, in Australia? Wild. That's crazy. Ooh. Is Griffin Airy too crazy? Turn to Griffin Airy and then like a Johnny lets us cast. Then like you plus one a Johnny make a 2-2. Two -two. Negative three Elspeth make a 2-2. Two -two. That feels too cute. But the idea is there. Unfortunately, we do. Man, I like Outback way more than I like TGI Fridays. <sighs> Guys, we're looking for defensive cards that can, that can keep us alive. Is there any cards that interact with Planeswalkers? I think I asked that already, but I'm going to ask it again. Birth of Miletus actually seems pretty decent, right? But we just don't have enough white sources. Like, if, even if I had, like, two planes, I still don't feel like... I still would want to have, like, four births. <sighs> Nothing special, just pleasant. That's... That's good enough, though. Is this draft? Yeah, man. Yeah, we just real good. It's our best draft tech ever. Badger, have a, have a great dinner, buddy. Hopefully I'll see you soon. I mean, I know I will, but... <laughs> you know. I wish you luck. Not good or bad. Just luck. Uh, you may put a card... Yeah, I think Fire Prophecy could be decent. The Indestructible card with Addendum. Um, Unbreakable Formation? I don't know about all that. Because I just don't feel like we have enough things that actually care about that. Does that make sense? We're definitely just adding a, a planes to the deck. But not right now. Because then I lose my spot. I always have to like remind myself not to do something else when I'm looking through cards. Because it's just going <laughs> to reset everything. Tinker for Blightsteel actually seems pretty good here. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. On a card, I'm gonna play it on turn two, but it's also good on like turn ten. What card am I thinking of? Paradise Druid? Incubation Druid? A fog? Mm, fog doesn't solve the problem, is the is the problem. Leafkin Druid is interesting. I think it's either Paradise or... I think it might just be Paradise Druid. Are there any other dragons I could play? No. <laughs> this is a dragon. Uh, let's remove the two restriction. Well, we're never controlling four more artifacts. Choose a human or artifact. No, we can't control that permanent result of losing human attacker block. It just eats it, and then it just sits there and does nothing. It doesn't do anything. What the hell is this thing? Seven mana for a five five flying double strike. Creatures you control gain double strike. That's actually really interesting. Uh, let's go here. Oh my god, what a tease, dude. I was like, oh, oh no, I can't use that. I mean, these are good Johnny Avon lands too, but it's not the same. I don't think this deck is good yet. I think we have to play it a little bit and see what we can get with it. I put two more Chandras in there. What are the decks we care about? We want some life gain. I guess I guess Knight and Knight's actually pretty good in terms of gaining life. What are these weird lands? That's pretty wild. This just looks like this is just almond care, right? I mean, we have Gilded Goose, Paradise Druid, and Dryad. All of these cards ramp. This adds add mana. This lets you play an extra land. This lets you... This, these are both ramp. I mean, like, this is... The first 16 cards of our deck are ramping us. Hmm... I'm just trying to screw up the sideboard and think of what we could use. Yeah, with only four, with only seven basics, Cultivate's kind of iffy. I f there's got to be something better than Grafdigger's Cage, right? Like, there has to be something better for Graveyards. Like, I actually kind of like Scorching Dragonfire as, like, a three of. I feel like all these are so bad. I like Scorching Dragonfire because you can hit them when they're on the, when they're, when they're being played for the first time, and then you can just kill them. <gasps> Scavenging Ooze. That's great. See, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Check back later to see if you can purchase it. Thanks, bro. Alright, let's try it like this for now. 
Actually, banishing like could be good, right? All right. Either way, twenty-five lands. Let's see what we can do. We gotta start somewhere. Sarkon is definitely the leader here, and yeah, we're gonna call it M Twenty-One. What? Save it. I didn't even do anything, right? Traditional standard ranked. Uh, I don't actually know if the singleton event is still up. Oh, that's where you get the, the sweet scavenging use? That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep this hand. What are they using here? Mu Yanling? Oh, look at that water. I don't know if that's necessary, but it is what it is. It's there. It exists. Whenever I have a basic, I'll always play the land that is the opposite of that basic. So if I have a plains, I'll play a stomping ground first. So that on turn two, I have access to whatever I may need. Oh, Clothes seems decent. See, that's what I mean. My biggest problem right now with Standard is that there's so many cards and I'm still kind of relearning the format because I had I didn't play Standard for a long time. For good reason, I would say. But, um, yeah, it's almost kind of fun because there's so many options. Yep, had a feeling they would take that. I think robots are cool. Just got finished putting together the MTGO Vintage Powered Cube and Paper. All I'm missing is the power. It's my goal for the next year. Oh, dude, that sounds awesome. Would not be sad. I don't have to see this fat idiot's face anymore. Oh, that was pretty decent. Love is on the way. Yeah. Oh, you get a solemn simulacrum too. Also, uh, the singleton event sounds pretty sweet because I like singleton decks. You got it. Is there the Aether Gust? Cause they never don't have the Aether Gust. I think this whole cycle was a fucking mistake. I think it's just the, the most when you when they're so good that you main deck them, it's just fucking miserable. I 
Like, I actually can't wait till, like, M20 rotates. Like, it's just... I can't wait to not play against Mystic Dispute, Mystical Dispute, like, Aether Gust, Noxious Grass, whatever. Like, they're all just so friggin' miserable to play against. Main deck sideboard cards are a symptom of shit design. I agree with you. Like, you're making a card so strong, or a format so skewed. Like, if a, if a, if a sideboard card is main deckable in your format, it means that you have skewed the power level of that format to such a degree that, like, those cards have to be played. But they've been nailing standard until now. It's true. <coughs> cool. I also, I'm also just getting this this really awkward feeling where it's like if you're not just fucking playing Nissa into Ugin, like why bother playing the format? So, they can't kill either of these with their Ugin. They can just play one of these idiots, which also sucks. But then we can play a land. Alright, well, we'll see how it goes, I guess. So they have one card. So we can actually Ugin kill their guy and then kill their Ugin. That does not seem terrible. Bandard. Oh my god. Well, this is, I mean, like, <laughs> without any hyperbole, Standard has the most banned cards that it's ever had. So... I did forget that Ugin was plus two, so I thought we'd be able to kill it, but... Unfortunate. really annoying <sighs> eight mana colorless creature a colorless planeswalker really really easy to deal with cool Seems good. I'm just gonna go to the next. Uh, God. It's three Domries. Uh, 
I guess it heartless act, sure. I'm just gonna concede. Like, what do you, it's Nissan to fucking Ugin is so stupid. Like <sighs> Take out a Domri, put the scavenging is in. Don't care about deafening Claren or Knight. It sucks because Chandra can't even like you can't even take advantage of the can't be counter clause. I feel like we just want more else but Conqueror's death. No, cradles are not 900. I mean... Oh, boy. Like, it's so funny because there was, like, a bunch of screenshots of cradles being 900. But, like... If you literally go to, like, TCG, it's like... Like, there's several of them for, like, 500 bucks. I kind of don't want to play scavenging is here because I'd rather just wait till they fill their graveyard with things. Because they could heartless act it, they could uh, eliminate it. There's lots of things they can do to get rid of our scavenging is. Yeah, Aether Gust this guy. So I'm going to assume you have either Gust. This feels weird to not... It's still weird that you're not using this. I've gotten all the value I want out of that guy. That's just a poor man's removal spell. Who is the ramp deck now, nerd? Got him. Of course, they're going to play Questing Beast here and kill our Elspeth, so that's a bummer. Hmm. 
don't care about that. Didn't I put this guy on the bottom? <laughs> Pretty sure I did, but maybe not. I mean, I could actually put plus plus two plus one on these two guys, but they're going to kill Elspeth either way next turn. So I'd rather just have the creatures on the board. Could play scavenging units here, just exile the graveyard, but I still think I'd rather wait. Also, Dryad helping with the uh, the green for scavenging units is pretty nice. That's pretty interesting. Believe in yourself and Three, four, five, six, huh? We go everything at Teferi, they plus him, he goes to five. They block one, they take three, four, five. Okay, so they actually have to remove one, block one, he takes one, two, three. Yeah, that's fine. So we're probably just gonna eat a one one, maybe draw a card or get rid of one of the tokens. Nope, just plus, sure. So that's fine. The problem is if they get rid of our dragon, they just get to kill Tef uh, Sarkon, which is unfortunate, but... I, don't have a plan, I'll just make one up. I probably would have... Mm, maybe not. I don't actually know what I would have done there. Well, I assume they have another land because they discarded one. Sure. They're going to Aether Gust the dragon. No, they're not. Okay. I don't know what's going on then. They are coming. Thank you. Scarfed in. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. So let's assume phase. Yeah, that's not gonna. Phase is negative three, so like they only go to one. So I'm assuming. Actually, I don't know. I have no idea what they have. I'm sure they have any other guests, maybe. I'm pretty sure there's no blocks that can save them here. Pretty sure they know that as well. It says color modified. This permanent is red, but like, I think it's red regardless. It's always red.
fight. Fight beside me. So we have, they have a euro in the graveyard? Well, let's eat that. Oh, it might be too late. They might be saving the Aether Gust. Might be like the perfect time for an Aether Gust here. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. They might let it resolve because they don't think we have the green. That would be pretty cool. Yo, I can have that? Sure. Still gonna eat it. And both Planeswalkers survive. Sure. They have mana for both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not unless they have another land in hand. Oh, interesting. So, find your valor and fight. Power. Alpha? <laughs> activated you, activated you. Might as well play Paradise Druid. She has X proof, and they're not gonna wipe the board with anything like a. If they have like Extinction Event, and they. And they get exiled, so I can't even escape. How fucking stupid am I? We just hold the Paradise Druid. We play Paradise Druid. I mean, now they get it. Nah, this is fucking stupid. <sighs> wow. Really cool design. Really glad they printed. Really glad they printed Ugin in, in standard. Such a. Such a such a fair fun Magic card to play against in a standard format. It's fucking horrendous. They're not going to wipe the board, he says, like a fucking moron. As if this does anything but die immediately. They literally go negative zero Ugin and then attack. Sure. I've never seen someone manifest their dem demise quite like Frank. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. To be fair, in the history of magic, there's never been any issue with colorless cards. Yeah, cool, you can go fuck yourself. I mean, it's literally like, oh, you drew Ugin? Cool, I guess I can't win the game. Seems good. I almost feel like we want more Elspeth Conqueror's death.
maybe one more eight mana Ugin. What two cards can we take out? Maybe one Domri, which I think is fine, and one Johnny. This is absolutely infuriating. Keep this. I guess. Just kill this guy? Oh, look, another Sultai deck. Oh, look, another Euro, another Euro deck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. God. The nightmare begins anew. I'm gonna keep this guy back to block. Oh, it doesn't matter. They don't have to have questing beast. Our guy's dead anyway. Oh, Nissa. I'm thinking of Nissa. If they play Nissa and make a 3 3 and attack our Dom rates, we might block. Oh, what up, Danny? Mm, that's pretty decent. Unfortunately, Aether Gust eh, doesn't really give a shit about your. <laughs> About your about your not your uncounterability. Oh. Okay. Sure. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Oh, all right. Oh, congrats on the new job, Danny. Good job, buddy. Stay safe, my dude. Um. So we've never taken that one goose. One Domri. One Chandra. Bring in scavenging ooze. Yeah, that seems fine. Zan seems good. You definitely wouldn't know it looking at the way people are acting. Boy, ain't that the truth. Definitely keeping that in this matchup. Can you counter this? No. Okay. All right, seems good. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Oh, that's a Torbrand's actually pretty decent. 150, so it's 50, is you get 50 points per level or per, per match? Is that how that works? And then more for like the quests.
I'll keep it. Lots of Ugans. An island, huh? Spect oh, opt. Okay. Okay. I mean, this guy's actually been pretty good. Being able to put a second land in and play each turn has been pretty alright. Okay, they do have something in hand. Heartless Act. No, nothing. Well, that means we get to play 6-drop Ugin next turn. That's pretty neat. Oh, it resolves? Sure. That seems fine. Are you running 30 lands? 25. 25. Ha, da, 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 da. Five. I mean, I assume they have a, a neutralized now. But they could have had a last turn, too, right? I don't get it. Okay. No. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, it resolves. Another 2 2. Oh, two planeswalkers underneath? Sure. I mean, that's fine. You can attack Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we hit a land, we get to go Ugin of our own. Big Ugin. Bugin. Six, seven. I mean, if they... Oh. This is all very surprising. I don't know what's going on right now. Theoretically, we could have actually played Domri and then played Elspeth Conqueror's Death. That would have been better. Oh my god, Ugin does cost two less because of this Ugin. Ugin's helping Ugins? I totally forgot about that because it's never come up. Man, so that was a double misplay on that turn. Well, it's a sink. We misplayed. We missed one play. We just missed... We missed... Uh... Okay. Doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five. They have seven mana. Well, they have six mana. Yeah, Domri last turn would have been real good. Because they would have taken three more and been at six. Seems fine. 
So you basically can't do anything unless it's one mana. So make a guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You cost six. And this is one, two, three, four, five. We're just going to play Domri. Into a Dryad. No. All we saw was literally like Brazen Borrower. I think this this Chandra is going to be good. I think Ugin's probably not as great. Take out one Elspeth. Huh. Eh, scavenging is, I guess. Keep it. Turn three Elspeth, turn four Nissa. You know, theoretically. They do have Cry of the Carnarium, which is worth noting. Main phase cycle, interesting. Okay, so hold on. This goes to Dryad, then land. I think we're actually just playing Elspeth here because Dryad actually isn't helping us as much as getting a Planeswalker down. And they can cry here, which is fine. I mean, we lose one Elspeth activation in Paradise Druid. They cannot cry here. So next time we get to shake the world, maybe? Yeah, I'd rather, I'm just dealing eight here and playing Dryad. Maybe it should have just... I mean, they, they probably brought, like, some sort of negates in, right? Like, because they saw a ton of Planeswalkers. So it could have been either Gust. Sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. But also, if we draw a land, we just get to play Ugin. That's pretty decent. So let's draw a second Ugin instead. <clears throat> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, we're just dealing eight again, right? Let's put them to four, and like they're dead on board to Elspeth activation. I mean, I don't know what they could play here that would actually deal with this. Because even if they have like extinction event it doesn't kill our odd card and we get to pump him if they have ritual of soot that would probably do it 
either way, I feel like we're doing okay with the deck, despite losing to Ugin. Boogan. Hydra's growth. 200 out of 1,000. I don't feel like we've, we have any many changes to make because I feel like we're actually doing pretty well. I think this is actually fine. We're on the draw, and if we can hit any land or ramp card, we can play Domri. Yep, that's pretty decent. Alright, so now we can go Domri into one of these questing bees. Questing beesies. I mean, you know, as long as they don't play Questing Beast next turn, I think we're in good shape. That's not a Questing Beast. Land lets us play Nissa. Not that land, though. Um, yeah, I'll keep that on top. I really don't like how this guy's not visible in the graveyard. Let's get November Ren on the roll. Rolly poly. No, it's it's October Ren, though. Danny, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Is your Uro new or part of the new Almond Care Remastered? Never seen it in standard. Me neither. Actually, Sarkon's great because you can plus Sarkon, make Domri a creature. I can fight this land. Oh, this is actually going to be an insane turn. Are they at six? That's a bummer. You're going face. Oh god, I thought they would be at five. That makes me so sad. Does she start at five? They can get back Extinction Event if they wanted to. I feel like we have to kill the stupid Nissa though, right? Yeah, like we have to get rid of their double mana, right? They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we just have to get rid of their stupid double mana. I mean, Extinction Event naming even is fine. We just play another Questing Beast. Oh, no, she chose Casualties, and they did not hit. Okay. I'm fine with it. Why do they also have three revealed cards? It reveals four cards, right? I guess it's because Agonizing Grimorse is at the top. Okay, now this turn is going to be better. They're just, are they just dead here? No, I think they go to one. Oh, 
my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Yeah, we would have just put him to one, so. Instead, we're gonna just kill our stupid tomato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, they could not have played that island any faster. We get to keep Ugin, though, and play our own Ugin. So they have to negative five, and then we get to go Ugin, shoot their Ugin, make a two, two. I feel like that's pretty good for us. That's not Ugin. Nor does that save you. Okay. <coughs> Love it. Want more of it. Rid of one goose. Um, don't love Chandra in this matchup. Ooze, ooze, ooze. I feel like we're doing pretty well, all things considered. I'm gonna keep it because of the goose. The goose gives me hope for the future. Uh, do I think they should have come earlier? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. The other version of this deck I wanted to play was Bant. Hmm. I think it's no attacks. I think we're just druiding here. I don't want to like... I don't want to turn this into a, a target. Yeah, missing missing multiple land drops is pretty bad. No blocks. That'd be great if again we weren't missing multiple land drops. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna peep with a, a Nissa that we have no way to contest. Snap keep. Trail mix is greater than all things considered. That's hilarious, actually. Now, now that you mentioned it was an NPR joke, I was like, okay, that's pretty. This has been all things considered. Jesus. No, you won't. That's exiled. 
Oh, it's actually destroy, isn't it? I still don't think you're returning, buddy. How do you miss land drops in a 25 land deck? You got me. This is nice because they have no pressure, so if they play Nissa and attack, they can actually attack and then either go to Nissa and kill both. It's pretty bad. But. Yep. Never never don't have Nissa on turn 4. Turn 5, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yep, they're going to Noxious Grasp this guy. No, they can't. Yep, now they're going to tap it and kill this guy. I wish I knew what it was like to have it all. I don't. I don't know what that's like. So I just kind of have to assume it's nice. I'm just not even going to play this game. Like, they get down to tap with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. Not including whatever they play. And this is a stupid fucking card and it shouldn't be in standard. But it doesn't matter. Because ideally she'll be rotating soon and then we won't have to deal with that. Or, you know, Mystical Dispute. Or Noxious Grasp. So, yeah. What about two vanishing lights for two geese? Just gives you something better to do. I don't know if Chandra's great in this deck. I kind of like this Ugin combo. Planeswalker, can you walk my planes in your Arkham Shadow? Huh. Are you better than a Johnny? Kane's creatures getting riot is pretty is pretty decent. Um, I I always I've considered playing hearts. I like I I regularly consider playing hearts on stream, but I don't think enough people like it. The negative three is rough on Domri. <laughs> you don't do anything. You're terrible. Look at the far enchantment you have an enchantment among them and put it in your hand. I mean, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's not enough. Um, the, the people I host are, are teammates, though, so. Uncommon. Did I miss anything in Uncommon? I don't think so. This Chandra. I don't think this Garrick is good. I think he's actually bad. <laughs> I might just want one more Nyssa. Really. Alright, let's see what that... I mean, the two decks I've... Literally, the two decks I've lost to have been... Saltai, because they get misses. They get misses out first. Like that's. Am I wrong? Did I did I have I lost other matches that I don't know about? I just can't remember. <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh. 
Oh, Danny, I just said I don't think my audience is is I don't think my audience is interested enough in Hearthstone. Yep, twenty five lands. Keep this one. Put one of you back. Hopefully, hit a Paradise Druid. I almost like Incubation Druid better than Paradise Druid, or better than uh, Gilded Goose in the deck. Okay. Oh, look, another Sultai deck. How utterly original. Oh, boy. I assume they came up with them themselves. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy that's like, real original Ned Decker, but it's like, seriously, you're just playing the fucking same stock Sultai list, so it's like... Oh, what up, Case? Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, great. Cool story, bro. We did not draw Paradise Druid. <sighs> or Monday, or whatever day you want it to be. Oh my god. Case, how you holding up, buddy? Euro's pretty crazy. I haven't seen that guy yet in standard. Wait, no. Yes, I have. I was thinking of something else. Jesus. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. You're just gonna take the dryad, dude. Elspeth conquers that. Okay. I think other people don't exist, and I'm halfway between the Martian and the Truman Show. <laughs> Wait, that card is uncommon? Which one? Thought Erasure? Yeah. If that's what you mean. Oh man, I got multiple Seattle friends up in the chat right now. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> Please. Uh, that's insane. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't have any more lands in my hand. I kind of want to play Ugin. But they have four mana up, so it's like... I think we just run into it. If they want to rewind, they can rewind. <gasps> they did not rewind. Okay, that's not a card we want, but that's okay. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them all, and then you have the facts of life. The facts of Oh yeah, Ugin's great. Ugin's just a sweet card. I'm really glad they put it in standard. Just kidding. You take it all and then you have the facts of life. The facts of life. If I actually do one of them public service announcements where he tells you what day it is and there are only two titans in the cycle, I never see anything but Euro on the block. And... Is there only... Yes, there are only two titans. Oh, good. That's sad. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough mana. Watch, they're gonna casualties again. Kill this, this, and this, and then we're just gonna be like, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Man, we only have casualties of war in hand.
cool. What is it like not having it all? Buddy, you got me. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also only have seven mana, so we can't play this Ugin. Like, we can knock him down to... We're just going to Banishing Light it. So now when they get their, their next casualties... Oh, that's fine. I don't care about that guy. This guy's going to be nice. I don't know why he didn't... It doesn't matter. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anywhere you go, you know. <sighs> Solid draws. It's really awkward because if we negative three we get rid of our own banishing light. <laughs> wild. F fucking wild. Get negative four. They get their Ugin back. Our Ugin would die. Get negative three. They do get their Ugin back. Our Ugin would go to one. We would keep this and we can kill our Teferi with it. I'm not sure what to do then because this card is fucking stupid. Both of these cards are stupid. This and this. And we're definitely playing Ugin, right? Oh, I guess they could actually exile our guy if we attacked him. Yeah, no attacks. All right, Hunter, take it easy. Actually, I think this guy's the better blocker. Awkwardly enough, because if we do negative Ugin, like if we draw like Elspeth Conquers Death, it'd be insane. Because we can negative four Ugin, keep our guy around. But I think we're asking a lot here. I hope they click the wrong one. That's interesting. Well, let's play this guy, I guess. You will feel the lick of my flames. So, make him a 4-4. Four, four. Ugin is a 7, so we could actually negative 4. They get their Ugin back. No, we can't shoot and... Oh, that's annoying.
sure. Oh, we're not dead. I mean, Heartless Act doesn't kill this. Oh my god, can you imagine they have either Ghost? They're just like, either Ghost or Ugin. Oh, <laughs> they get into struggle? Wow, that's fucking insane. I can't. I'm pretty sure we couldn't have ulted Ugin there, right? Like, Ugin just goes to... Like, Ugin was... Yeah, we lightning bolted two things, right? Yeah, because Ugin was at 11, but, like, we made it 11 that turn. <sighs> like, it's so fucking annoying. Shark Typhoon. Of course you have Shark Typhoon for four. Why wouldn't you? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I guess I should have played around Shark Typhoon when making my 11 loyalty. You know. I mean, we're still going to try to do that, but... You know, it's harder to do when they... I mean, I didn't think I was risking much by attacking into their guy. They have to have, like, either, literally either guys. Heartless Act doesn't do it. Eliminate doesn't do it, so. How many cards do they have? Two cards, huh? I have another Shark Typhoon in my hand. Oh, the Reachy Boy. Oh, man. Oh, God, that's so stupid. The fucking one Arboreal Grazer keeps their... That was, that was my mess. That was my bad. Yep. And we're probably done here. Jesus Christ, if I have to play another fucking Euro Nissa deck, I'll probably just I'll probably just kill myself. <sighs> cool. There's no dragons on board, but thanks for triggering. Why does it look like this? It hasn't looked like that once. Take out a Domri. <laughs> where's, where's our Elspeth Conquers Death there? Nobody knows. Where's our other Banishing Light? Nobody knows. Take out the Ajani's. Yeah, like, why play anything other than, like, turn turn three Ugin, turn three Euro into turn four Nissa into turn five Ugin? Like, why play anything else? If you're, if you're ceiling, if you're, your ceiling is turn four Ugin, which is possible because you could turn one, like, 
Arboreal Grazer, turn two Euro, turn three Nissa. I mean, why why would you ever play anything other than that? Ooh, Temple of Plenty. Into Druid, into Domri. This is a risky keep for sure. Any land that lets us play Paradise Druid on two, followed by Domri. That's a lot of extra mana. Because then we hit like one land. That's rough. This is going to be rough. If we, I mean, like, we could have mulliganed, definitely. But sometimes you want to risk it for the biscuit. We did not win the biscuit. Yep, there's the turn two Euro. So I'm pretty sure you'll just play fucking Nissa next turn, because why wouldn't you? Isn't that modern level power? Of course it is, but they don't give a shit. <laughs> yep, cool. Alright, that was a good game. That was a great, great game. So I actually think I want... I actually... think we want... I'm going to make one more change. I actually feel like Goose is just worse than Grazer, and it's super weird. I don't think a Johnny's great in the deck, which is weird. Maybe Elspeth's not great either, but then Sarkon's not that great. Like, the funny thing is I want to take out all these cards that, I, that I'm that i trying to, like, toy around with and just be like, well, let's just play more Euros. Let's just take out the red for blue. We'll play Euro, we'll play more Nissas, and then we'll maximize all of these. And it's just like, okay, but... I can, why? Like... I'm gonna add one more land. Let's add one more Temple of Plenty. I don't even have another Temple of Plenty? Get out of here. Craft all. Okay. So this is 61. We got four Grazers. One more land. We just got four cards and we added five. I would not be surprised if it was not random. I think Dryad's good, but it does require us to have lands. I maybe want like a better mix of cultivates. I don't think Dryad I mean like you're saying dry it out, but you're not actually explaining your Dryad is ramp, you get to play two lands a turn. Like the problem with cultivate, like we have seven basics, so I mean Also, Domri's ramp, the Paradise Druid's ramp, our Royal Grave. Everyone keeps saying more ramp, but it's like our first 14 cards in our deck are literally, our first 15 cards in the deck are literally ramp cards. Uh, you do need to have the lands in hand, but I mean, it also helps fix our mana, which is very, very nice. We have double red, double green, double white, double white, double green, <laughs> like. I can see cutting one for a Cultivate. Maybe two for two. Yeah, I like two and two. I think that's fine. I kind of just want more of these guys. It's really interesting. Let's cut the Elspeths. Let's cut one Domri. And let's add one more of each of these guys. One of you, one of you. Let's try it like that.
All right. <sighs> four grazer, four paradise druid. Two cultivate, two dryad. Nothing. I'll still keep it. The hand looks good. Okay. Well, it's not Sultai, guys. And I think that's important. <laughs> Come on, Paradise Druid. Well, let's see what's happening here. Do I hear out a Domri next turn? Maybe, because it lets us play... Yeah, I definitely do. Because it gives us something to play. Give me something to play! Oh, are they playing like the... Just the blue-red flashy type deck? Blue-red spells? Cathartic reunion. Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Out of red. Done. Hundred times people commiserating with you in the wee hours makes it all better, right? I'm not so sure. Yep, here we go. We're gonna opt three times. Or opt opt thrill of the thrill of the hunt. Uh, that's not what can't be what it's called. Thrill of possibility, there we go. There we go. Just one more. Just one more. There you go. Congratulations, you played a meaningless red spell that Triggered your three arc light -like phoenixes. I really, I think I, I'm, I'm getting to a point where like I'm really fed up with modern card design because I think it's very bad. Like it's almost like they're not even trying. Like they're just trying to make like the most broken shit happen, and it's pretty wild, man. I should get out of bed, but I haven't slept. Buddy, that seems terrible. They're all just going face, because of course they are. Man, opponent is really unlucky having only three of their four shitbirds on turn on turn three. Yeah, I know. I know. It's pretty tragic. One, two, three, four, five. We have a total of six mana to work with. We can also play Grazer and like Nissa. We can also Grazer Banishing Light Fight, which actually seems decent. I mean, this is okay. Like, they can get two guys back. I mean, the deck is full of just one mana bullshit, so it's like... Okay. I wish this guy had reach. I do, but I don't. Yep, all you need is one more one mana card. What are the odds you get it? I mean, it's 100%. 
So you just kind of have to play around it. You gotta, you gotta assume. Yep, there you go. I mean, being at seven, we're just gonna block one, obviously. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, just play Nissa here, I guess. They're at 15. I mean, next time we get to Ugin, which is pretty decent, but it's awkward. Banishing Light's awkward with Ugin, you know? Sure. Yep. Great. Oh, look, they didn't forget to attack. Cool. Isn't Rest in Peace in the format? No. No, it is not. Wait, why is it like why does it keep switching? Just stop fucking stop switching. I feel like our sideboarding plan is very good against them, interestingly enough. Uh surprisingly take out the banishing lights. Take out the Domries. They got one big Ugin, like. So now we can bring in three scavenging oozes, two scorching dragon fires, two devout decrees. Probably one Sarkon. And two five drops. <sighs> God. Oh, it's okay. We switched to a five drop and a six drop. All right. Well, we board in seven cards. Let's see if we can draw any of them. I'm not holding my breath. Yeah, I don't consider. I don't consider cards. I, it's, I think money grab is such a weird term. Like it's not a it's not a necessary product you have to buy. And Wizards is a company that is trying to make money. And I don't like begrudge them that. So it's so weird. Like I love magic, and I want them to be able to make magic for as long as they can. So if they want to grab money, and that makes them profitable, and they get to print more magic, and I get to play more magic. And I have options as to like more products that I may or may not want to buy. I think that's fine. This is very strange. They haven't discarded a single Phoenix yet. And this is where I got scavenging in hand. Sure, Amonkhet, Double Masters, and Jumpstart wasn't like much. But you don't have to buy any of those. Like you don't have to buy Double Masters, Jumpstart, or Amonkhet. You know what I mean? Like none of those are required. I mean, if you'd like to pick them up, like, cool. If not, mm, you don't have to. Boo, do, 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 
do do do. Like it's weird because it's like the the idea of a money grab is like a company is making a product solely for the sake of making a product, and that's like what the money grab is, right? Like, but like, that's literally what a company does. Still not a single fat bird. Four fat chickens. Check it and see. Of course you have this bullshit spell against me. So long, Nissa. I'll see you later. They just want face? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am perturbed. Super Fritz gifted a sub to Sir Money Grabber. Not a real person, but that's okay. Check it and see, I got a burger that's got a disease. Yeah, we have no way to block fire, so if they want to kill Ugin, they can kill Ugin. I imagine they're just going to hard cast an Arclight Phoenix here. You're not real, man. <laughs> we had a funeral for a bird. I don't think any of that happened. I don't think any of that's real. So they thrilled again. They thrilled twice, and now they have to have a one mana card. Which they do. Yep. Red cap melee. Oh boy. So long, Ugin. Yep. Fat chickens, check them and see. Does it deal? Does it? Is it locked in already? I don't know, but we'll see. No, it's not locked in, so. We get to force them to attack Nyssa. Yeah, I'll actually put it on top. Like, it's fine. Like, we have six damage on the board, so.
You got it. Go face there. I can kill this guy in response, but like we have no, we only have two two green sources anyway, so there's no situation where we can go eat a thing. They deal three to it in response. Eat another thing. It resolves. Becomes a three three. Yeah, they're, we're never gonna be able to deal with that. So. Actually, don't think I want to attack here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no attacks. They are at two, so they need another guy or a removal spell here. Okay, Thank two you. cards. Sure. They can attack with one dude. No, they can't. They can't attack with anybody. Super Fritz with a gifted sub to threat <laughs> Threat level midnight. Alright, no attacks again. They're dead on board without a threat or a removal spell. So they hit a removal spell. They're trying to target it. It's probably either a blitz or red cap melee. It was neither. So if they go, they go, is red cap melee sorcery? It is an instant. I think they were trying to check and see if this is a red permanent or not. That's interesting. So they kill this, then they go block here, block here, block here. So we have no guys. One, two, three, four, five. I don't feel safe about it. How many did they draw? They drew two already. God. No, I'm gonna skip it for a turn. Let's see what we can hit next turn. Danny, have a good night, buddy. Have a good day or night. Probably morning for you, I imagine. Yep, play another one of these. Because now they need two removal spells. Now I'm feeling a little more comfortable. I mean, I could very well have two removal spells or two cards that, like, find them removal spells, so. Yep, there's the red cap melee. Exactly what we thought. To the surprise of no one. Cool, they have two removal. Oh, sounds good. Must be nice. I wouldn't know because I've drawn mono lands for the past five turns and Paradise Druids, but I assume it's pretty sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugin doesn't do it off the top. Yep, that's a thing, alright. But Nissa has to be blocked. So we gain two. Super Fritz to Scrober 23. That's actually pretty funny. So they have to block with this now, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, get that get that witch out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, but now Nissa dies, but still buys us one more turn. And we still have six mana, so we can play three mana Ugin and kill this guy. Nope, just Temple of Triumph. It's going to be 8 mana Ugin. 6 mana Ugin. That's a good one. Wait, why would you want Threat Level Midlife to be Michael's last appearance? That seems weird because the finale was fantastic. Okay, well... 
Gain two more. Have to kill this thing. Yep. You got two phoenixes in here? Yeah, we're probably dead. Oh, we're not dead. Now we're going to draw eight mana Ugin because we're due for it. Well, now we can draw eight mana Ugin. Okay, let's just try not to die one. We get one turn. Yep, that's game. Do you have four lands in hand? Doesn't fucking matter. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklinpoormanatraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. And uh, be sure to support the YouTube channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.